Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be on Archon Excavations, specifically why some players hate it, followed by a few builds and strats you could apply to help overcome the arguably less than great design that is Archon Excavation in its current state at least. As always, timestamps are in the video description and if you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you took some time to check out the channel and all the Warframe content that gets posted here somewhat regularly. So when you think about it, Archon Excavation isn't really that hard to complete successfully. You don't have to guard each excavator till it expires, right? Simply bullet jumping from one to the next will eventually net you the required 500 cryotic. It's even less of an issue if you're squatting up for Archon hunts, but some players just prefer to play solo either because of stuff like connection limitations, time zones, or they just have trust issues like me. Problem is, skipping from one excavator to another just feels wrong. I know some of you guys don't care, but you want to try and guard those excavators to the best of your abilities, even if it means using some quote unquote AFK builds or whatnot. Otherwise, the entire thing just feels broken, which it may very well be in its current state, perhaps poorly designed for Archon level enemies. Like the excavators themselves have pitiful health and shield numbers. I believe the devs did boost this up a bit a while back to keep up with some of the higher level content, not sure which one. But this is still clearly insufficient in a game mode where even tank frames can get nuked. Another complaint that I've seen pop up a few times is that the Grenier power carriers don't seem to be spawning in sufficient numbers. Something like waiting 30 minutes for one to appear I believe is what I read from one of the posts on the forums. Personally it's been a mixed bag for me, sometimes those guys show up even at the start and other times they just take a vacation for a bit. I don't know, I'd love to read your experience, so feel free to share down in the comments. The fact that the um, Eximai and Sentient Discos can basically instant nuke excavators, I just can't help but feel that this mission needs some sort of rework to mesh better with the much stronger enemies. Sure, if Archon Excavations were intentionally designed to be challenging to the AFK frame builds out there, I guess they've achieved that. It just doesn't feel very fair to solo players. Again, you can complete Archon Excavations with pretty much any frame just going from one excavator to the next, but I feel like this isn't what even the Warframe devs would actually want. So Mello, I'm still not gonna go public and I don't like playing Archon Excavations. What do you got? Well, I've put together some builds that might make it easier for you to keep the excavators intact in a solo run. Just keep in mind that depending on your skill level, it can get really intense, which um, some people like, right? And also these builds are not always perfect. I have not put anywhere near the amount of time into the falling frames or any frame as I have into Chroma. So if there's one build that I can confidently call perfect is only my Chroma build and Gazette. And even that's sort of a constantly evolving work in progress thing. Octavia can be great, but even with lots of range on Mallet, you could get dealt bad RNG with regards to the excavator spawns. You could also subsume Resonator onto other frames and hope to just get by with just that, but there are flaws to that strategy. A single point of distraction is just not gonna cut it once the sentient enemies start to try and overwhelm you. The following builds will be for Frost, Limbo, and Excalibur Umbra, respectively. Yeah, I know some of those are way too obvious, but we're gonna make it a little different by subsuming Banshee's Silence. The neat thing with Silence is it will stop Eximus units from using their abilities like Fire Blast and may also stop the sentient units from going into disco mode, though I have not tested for that one specifically. Silence also stuns all the enemies, sentients included, long enough for you to catch a breath and check to make sure the excavator isn't in a million pieces. Each of the frames I've picked come with an ability or some way of protecting the excavator because like I said, even if you could distract the enemies, you're gonna want some sort of assurance when moving around to pick up the power cells, for example. With Frost, that will be his snow globe. I found over 20,000 health to be good enough. It can still get destroyed by a group of angry sentients, but you can also just place another one, and another, and another, right? As long as you got energy, which has not been a problem with this build. For Limbo, I've put on a bit of range and as much duration as I could cram in with Rolling Guard as a form of backup survivability. You could probably replace that with something else. Keep in mind that Eximus units are no longer affected by Limbo and are gonna feel more than welcome in just waltzing right in to pop your excavator. So have a strong weapon like the Latoom to quickly eliminate those. For Excal, the excavator defense strat is not as clear cut. 
Radial Blind along with Silence does kind of feel a little redundant. I've had to spam it just to keep the enemies at bay, so perhaps a Resonator build would do better. Again, feel free to experiment with these. All I can say is with this build, I could protect an Excavator for the entirety of its life. Maybe not every single time, considering RNG and whatnot, but still not too bad. This really is an option if the first two are no-go. To go with those builds, I've paired the Latoom with a Dokram Zaw. I've already made dedicated videos for both of these not too long ago, but here's a quick look at the builds for both of them. For the operator side of things, I just run Majirai for Void Strike in case I get bloody shot down. Kinda wish Vazarin was still a good old Vazarin, but alas, we must bid farewell to the good things someday. I feel like that day's almost every day these days. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or alternatively join the Discord server as we do have a dedicated channel for Q&As. I do hope this video was somewhat helpful to you guys and I'd like to just thank you for watching. Really, I still remember getting next to no views on new videos in the not too distant past. You guys keep this little place going. Right, that's all for now. Have a good day.